girlfriend so i'm about to do my hair i got the blow dryer set up i'm gonna try and straighten it at home by myself a diy i have some leave-in conditioner and water in this bottle i will go section by section and take my time all right i hope that the results come out nicely i'll see y'all soon so friends so this is half of my hair blow dried yes sir it was one hour this is how much hair i lost from this side. I'm gonna do the other side and take it easy. I might just straighten it tomorrow with the beveler. I'm not sure. Maybe I just push on through and do the whole thing tonight. But this is one side blow dry. I'm happy with the results, honestly. It's about straight, so the beveler is gonna take it the rest of the way. We're gonna see how it goes, okay? Okay, so I'm working on my other side and look at this shrinkage, y'all. You see this? This is my puff ball that I just detangled. And then I'm going to stretch it on out. It's going to be like this once I blow dry it. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Hey, I got a little bit of love. So I'm going to show you what I've been doing. Okay. So I'm going to part this. Okay, so first things first, I part this section off and tie the rest down with a bobo. Then I part it again because that's a little too much. And bobby pin the rest. Then I finger the tangle a little bit, put the leave-in conditioner in there. And then I take the comb and I start from the tips and work my way all the way up to the roots. Combing out gently. Mm-hmm. This section is kind of big too. Early I was doing smaller sections, but you feel me. I got tired, so it is what it is. So I'm detangling, making sure that um it's nice and smooth before I start blow drying it. And here's the blow dryer. So I use the tension method, hold the hair down, and then blow it um without the comb attachment or anything. And just go up and down the strands, and it helps elongate the hair. And after I do that for a couple of times, um, I grab the paddle brush and I start to go from the ends up to the top. Now this is right here, I'm telling you, whew, this is something. <laughs> I think I need the round brush because it takes a lot of strength to do both of this at one time. So you got to make sure that you um, are patient when you're doing this process. And then I take the paddle brush and try to detangle it some more. And um, just take my time, really. A lot of patience. But you can see the strength or the shrinkage is going away. Um, I do blow dry some more. Now, I did trim my ends in its natural state before blow drying it. But it looked like it needed a little bit more of a trim. <laughs> um, but that's okay. And I just take my time. And as you can see, the curls start to become straighter eventually. Um, I definitely did have it on low heat because I knew it took me a while and now I'm choosing a song <laughs> to play. So, yeah, um, that's the process really. And as you continue to blow dry it, the straighter it'll get and it'll become easier to flat iron. So I'm taking my time, twisting this down and moving on to the next section. Um, I am adding some, I think that's shea butter at the tips, um, because the ends are very important, and for me, they're very fragile lately. I don't know if the winter or what the issue is, but they're very um, fragile right now. And I repeat the same steps, finger to tangle, wide tooth comb. Um, the front of my hair is much more looser, so I don't need to comb as much as I do in the middle and the back. I'm telling you, the different hair textures um, really play a part in when you're detangling your hair. You can feel the differences. So the front of my hair don't need much um, like effort to detangle for real. So now I grab my blow dryer and I do the tension method again. Mm -hmm. Take your time. Yep. You see, it was much easier to do the front. That's why um, 
that's something I really like, honestly, because it don't take much time. And I don't know. It's like very nice because you got to not necessarily fight, but you got to put a lot of effort in the back and the middle. And then we get to the front. It's like you home free <laughs> the last stretch of the race. So um, just taking my time and trying my best. So the process continues for the rest of that section. Um, so I'll, I'll twist this down and then I'll go on to the next part. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hey, curl friends. So I just straightened half of my hair. Oh, wait a minute. Good morning, curl friends. This is the next day. I straightened half of my hair. I love it. It's nice and full still, and it's like, it's nice and soft. I put a little bit of this shea butter in there, too. So on to the next half, and I'll show you the end results. Uh, this is how far it goes down so far and it's still a little poofy but you know my hair is natural and it's straight compared to before so i like it for my first time i think it went very well i'll talk to y'all soon girlfriend so this is my hair i finished it i like it a lot i'm gonna wrap it on up and see if it gets any flatter i put a little bit more of this on this side it's a little bit right here gotta melt on it but besides that, I really like it a lot. Um, I'm probably going to just end up doing a side part and wearing it like that. But thank you for watching. Um, I didn't even show you me straightening it because it was a lot. But um, if I touch it up later on this month, then I'll show you guys for sure. But I appreciate you watching. I hope you liked the video. Talk to you later. Have an awesome day. Okay. Bye-bye.